The Crock and the Sock by Claire Evans Crock woke one day to find a sock laid out upon the floor. Who owns this smelly thing? he growled. I found outside my door. It was pungy, wet, and muddy, surrounded by huge flies. The nasty whiff made poor Croc cough and even stung his eyes. So angry Croc picked up the sock and stormed off on his way. I'll find the owner of this sock and make the culprit pay. Is this your sock? yelled angry Croc as he met a small gray mouse. "'Twas you who left this rotten sock to stink outside my house." Little Mouse was really scared as the ghastly stench came near. "'Please, Mr. Croc, that's not my sock. You've got the wrong idea.' She held her breath, grabbed a fan, then used her perfume spray, and blew the scent back at the Croc, which made him run away. So Croc charged on until he found Flamingo having fun. Hey you, is this your sock? He gasped, all breathless from his run. Poor Flamingo was offended. The smell made her feel sick. She splashed some water at the sock, which balanced on a stick. The water missed and soaked the Croc, the smell still going strong. I've never owned a sock like that, with such an awful pong. Is this your sock? roared Grumpy Croc to Nellie by the tree. Ew! It really stinks! she squealed. Keep that away from me! The smell made Nellie dizzy, and she tripped upon a rock, then fell down in a clumsy way towards the silly Croc. Nellie fell onto a log where Mr. Croc was standing. Croc shot high into the air, unsure where he'd be landing. Ah! Help! Help me! Help me, please! screamed Croc as he shot towards the ground. In doing all they could to help, his friends all gathered round. Poor Croc crashed down into a pile of dirty, smelly clothes. To his despair, the matching sock came landing on his nose. Oops! Now the question had been answered to whom the sock belonged. Embarrassed Croc had been a fool. It was his sock all along. So Croc put on a party. I'm sorry for being mean. And made a promise to all his friends. My clothes will be kept clean. <laughs>